All right, welcome back to Beautiful Mind. We're uh, going to zoom in on the square of nine here. We're going to talk about this a little bit. So you can see that this is looking down from the top of a pyramid and one being here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, make the second block row. Now, we're talking about natural squares. And what does that mean? Well, at the end of this nine, or when we went from one to two, we have two times two is four, four times four is 16, right? Six times six is 36. 8 eighths is 64, 10 times 10 is 100. Now, directly up across from that, we end up after those even on the odd square. And that ends on 9. And then we have 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 5 is 25. 7 times 7 is 49. 9 times 9 is 81. 11 times 11 is 121. And this square continues on all the way around like that. It just continues on like that and gets bigger. So really interesting. So we're going to talk about uh, using that to forecast the price of assets like Bitcoin, for instance. Well, we can see the top came in at 69,000. And even though you're going to say 40 would be one square down in price, it's not. It's two squares because the squares are opposing each other. So there's a duality between natural squares. And I showed you already that the even squares go out this way and the odd squares go out this way. So, that being in mind, we can forecast numbers based on what they're doing and a circular view of how they would grow and fall and how this would be important for us to look at. All right, so we're going to zoom out now. Sorry, rather zoom in. And we're gonna just we're gonna bring the zodiac in here and we're gonna put on another tool. Alright, so this is gonna give us all the degrees. We have the zodiac on here. We're gonna point out that sidereal time starts over here at the end of uh, Virgo and the starting of Libra and then the sidereal hours go all the way around the 24 hours around the plane then of course starting it off we have the 30 degrees of every sign or age or eon in its cycle So we can use this to forecast tops and bottoms. And what do we mean by that? Well, well, possibly forecast using these bodies. So on here, I've populated this and made this tool. This is my esoteric forecasting tool. Anybody can make one of these and do this. But I think that uh, what's important here is, uh, so we have the sun here. This is representing today, which is July the uh, 3rd. Or is it the 2nd today? So the 3rd. Anyhow, with that in mind, the sun is here. 
and the moon is here. Here's Mercury and Venus. Here's the moon's nodes, and they operate opposite. So they don't spin with the way the numbers go. They go the opposite way. So they move this way. So we're about to have a big alignment between Uranus and the moon's nodes. That's going to be huge. And the same with uh, Mars has kind of come up and contact this as well at around the same time exactly where I'm calling for a bottom. Here's Jupiter. It's just into Aries now on the western Vedic or western sorry tropical. Here's uh, Neptune. It's at 25 degrees in March and uh, we have Saturn the old timekeeper and the justice and it's over here in the last degrees of uh, Aquarius and uh, in the very last degrees of Capricorn we have Pluto which is going to enter into Aquarius March 23 in the Great Reset and same with uh, Saturn. Saturn is going to enter into March into new into that sign so it's going to be a lot of change going on there folks interesting anyways uh, that that will be next year when these two move into that but for right now where we are we are subject to this and so the moon we're set up this here so we had a low at 17 and a half just below our 69 here so and 19 has been our median price level for Bitcoin and I've called for this and also it's also on the tutorials that's about a 72% level a natural pullback and on a line from 69 which is in November so we're we're now four squares in in price where are we going well we've I'm saying right now that we were going to top out around the 22-23 area, which it did right when the moon was back there in June uh, in the sign of uh, Gemini and made a conjunction with the node and uh, Uranus. So, And then the price, of course, has uh, stayed there and uh, drifted downward now. And uh, we're just presently starting to move back to the 19 areas and sit around there are we about to uh, have another bounce up and then push to 25 and move back all the way down to 13 and 12 which I'm calling for here which would happen in the next uh, oh let's say 14 days by the time the moon comes around to Pluto and Saturn here we could have a really major maneuver and probably a buying opportunity somewhere around uh, when it gets to Jupiter possibly so we're going to watch this because uh, this is very very interesting it uh, we have a lot of uh, points to watch out for in our uh, in our movements so possible we can go up to 23 and 25 I don't know, it's pretty unlikely, but, um, you know, the moon is, uh, looks like it's about to make a bottom, and we're about to take off here in the next couple of days here, and, uh, you know, uh, within a, another week we'll top out, and then uh, we're going to start to move down in, uh, in price. And we could probably see, yeah. maybe we'll see 10, uh, 10,000, yeah, possibly even 5,000. We could have a big wick back and we could just easily move down uh, two squares in price and uh, sit at the 5,000 level. This definitely would be a represent a buy at that area so we're gonna just take that into account so this is a really good forecasting tool to do these things so you can uh, like and uh, leave a comment subscribe if you think this is a uh, interesting material and tutorial and I want to send a shout out to a couple of teachers in my life that uh, gave me great inspiration 
my junior high teacher in Southwood, Panna Baker, uh, Dr. Koski, I'd like to call him, Mr. Koski. Wonderful scientist. Um, really excited my mind to science, was really kind to me, always helped me, was really kind to me. And for those that knew Mr. Dr. Koski, uh, he smoked a lot and he drank, but he was a great guy. He uh, had an accident at home and died, unfortunately, And uh, but he was a wonderful guy. But if he messed around in his class, he had an ugly stick with a spike through this great big uh, ugly stick, and he would launch it into your desk. Now, there were several desks with stuff missing from it. I was fortunate enough not to have that happen to me. He was very kind to me. He was a good teacher. Also, my high school world history international politics teacher, Mr. Goodman. Really terrific teacher. Really terrific teacher. I hope those spirits are doing well. Great guys. Really great guys. Anyways, um, go and look into these wonderful combinations of uh, numbers and time. And you can look at this as a Stonehenge, exactly with a, with a calculator in the center of it. And that's exactly what it is. And uh, anyways, uh, hope you really enjoyed this. Thank you for joining Beautiful Mind. Like and subscribe. And leave a comment if you would like to see more, more content like this or anything of that kind of nature. Thank you.